Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me right here, right now. This is Kareem in the Morning Podcast right here, right now. Okay, at this time, I'll run my disclaimer. This channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13. Omega Studio News Talk Show T Morning over the age of 18. Warning, the ex views expressed and opinions expressed on this program is just that views and opinions don't take any of this serious, but I warn you, viewer discretion is advised. Okay, and welcome, welcome, welcome to this podcast. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you for being here right here on this day. Cream in the morning. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and do uh, the audio for this time episode for Cream in the morning. And I want to go ahead and start off with breaking news. There is breaking news right here, right now where uh, I would like to uh, talk to you guys right here, right now. Uh, we have breaking news. So if you guys haven't heard about it already, you're going to hear it right here on the news. There has been a really big, tragic fire that went down in New York, Bronx, Tremont section in the Bronx, that originally reported that killed 19 people, but now sources and breaking news is coming in saying that 17 people, 17 people died, including eight children in the Bronx. Uh, I can tell you the latest uh, where they stand at as far as uh, uh, confirmation the identities of those who died have still not been released, but authorities still say the children who died were a four-year-old girl, two five-year-old girls, and six-year-old boy, two 11-year-old girls, and 12-year-old boys, and one additional child who age has not been confirmed. Ten children remain hospitalized in various conditions. Uh, they're saying that there was over 200 firefighters that battled this five-alarm blaze that started on the third floor of a 19-story Twin Park Northwest apartment building located at 333 East 181st Street in Tremont section just before 11 a.m. on 1-9-2022. At 11 a.m. on a Sunday. I just want to say, uh, first of all, let me just go ahead and um, take this time to have a moment of silence for those who have died in this fire right now.
Okay, so the update on this story is that the fire happened in an apartment and it started from a space heater. They said that the people in the apartment left the apartment and then what happened next could have been a game changer if education could or would have kicked in or if education would have been administered at that time. And that was to close the door behind you. In this case, the door wasn't closed behind them and the fire's smoke spread it through the hallways, making it um, almost impossible for people of all levels, up, down, stairways, elevators. Oh God, those in the elevators, Lord have mercy. Um, and those who are in the stairway, uh, dark, the, the smoke is thick, and then this raisin is gonna go up to the top because that's what smoke does, it raises up. And then in this case, it started on the lower floor, so it's going to go up to the higher floor. So what they're saying is, is that the um, that they had went and found victims on every floor uh, as far as where they're concerned, where, you know, this building did not have any fire escapes. This building, if you look at this building from Google, from 333 East 181st Street in Tremont, it shows a very tall building, but it does not have any fire escapes. So when you look at then and you look at now to the video, I mean, to the uh, photo and the pictures of what are coming in, uh, it's like, oh my God, like when that fire was burning, it literally, like the smoke literally went every floor so many people lost their lives so many people injured at least 44 people were injured and with 13 said to be claiming to their lives at nearby hospitals okay uh several are intubated meaning that they had to do cardiac arrest life-saving measures to bring these people back so it's a possibility that the death toll could rise but right now for those they are now saying that they are re uh, reverse that from 19 to 17 fatalities okay uh they were able to save two lives out of those people it's probably those who were rushed to the hospital but it's like new city down over there uh there's a lot of um press that's coming on they had the mayor over there they had the governor over there they had a lot of local leaders officials clergy people that just want to help uh i'm gonna say uh that at, in the description box below there will be a link that will take you to an address that will help that will help you uh when it, when contributing to uh donating and what you can do as a social media person and uh friend cyber friend you can donate to help these people who, who suffer in this deadly fire okay so they're saying that they want to try to uh educate people that when fire you know how they teach you how to stop drop and roll when a fire happens on you like if a fire is on you how you stop drop and roll no questions asked stop drop and roll well, now they're saying that when you check your smoke alarms, every time you hear that beep, make sure you check your smoke alarms so you can change your battery because that's what that means. The battery, it needs to be changed. Make sure every time the season change, you change your battery. Every time the year change, you change your battery. You want to check your carbon monoxide. They all they usually have the university one where carbon monoxide and the smoke operation is together. So make sure you have one of those in your home, especially carbon monoxide, because carbon monoxide is very deadly and you cannot smell it, you cannot taste it, you cannot see it. So make sure you are checking these devices that's going to be able to help you and your family when there's a fire in progress. These devices is made to help give little time to get you up and out. So it will not take away okay 
your light forever. Okay, we don't know if the um, the smoke alarms was working, but a case in this case it was the smoke. A lot of people smoke, 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 die or may have perished from smoke inhalation because I can I can only imagine, like you know, it just think make me think about the people who talked about when they was in the World Trade Center and how they was coming downstairs and. And and, and 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 it was so dark and they had carried people downstairs and it was, you know, they couldn't get downstairs because it was so dark. And in that case, the um the buildings the building collapsed. And in this case, a lady was explaining how it was dark everywhere, soot everywhere, you know, nobody couldn't see, nobody couldn't breathe. You know what I would have did, ladies and gentlemen, like no shade. I would have stayed in my apartment. I would not have left. I would not have left. I would have stayed in my apartment. The safest place is your apartment. You do not want to leave your apartment. Take some wet towel, put it at the door, bottom of the door to keep the smoke from coming and make sure you go into an area. If it's not in your apartment, make sure you go into an area where you have fresh air and you can call or talk to someone that's going to make sure that they can come to your safety at that time. Now, if the fire is in your place, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that when your smoke alarms are working, you close the door behind you. Close the door behind you. You will not just be saving yourself, but you'll be saving everybody, your neighbors, everybody, the pets, everybody in your facility. Okay, because in this case, people died because they, the door was not closed. You understand? And it is sad because so many kids died. And this takes me back to uh, a little bit beginning of the year, uh, at the end of the year, or the end of the year, uh, beginning of this year. Uh, there was another fire that killed 13 people and... Philadelphia, okay, and in that case, it was a space heater. I don't know if it was from the door open. I don't know the circumstances, but I do know it was a lot of kids who died in that fire and two adults, okay? So in this case, we have 17 people, nine of them kids, dying in this fire, okay? So um, I also want to... Um, talk about the fact that they said that this uh, fire makes it the, uh, I will believe, the third, fourth, deadliest, biggest. Okay, so we have three more biggest ones where I will explain to you uh, the, 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 the aftermath of what happened at these, uh, at the dates and aftermath. Okay, so one big, big fire that happened in the Bronx, March 25th, 1990, was called a Happy Land Social Fire, Social Club fire that killed 87 people. Okay, it was where a man who definitely, definitely was trying to get back at his girlfriend, and he decided that, hey, listen, I'm going to do something that's going to, like, you know, get her, and maybe not thinking about other people. He said, the clothing, the rack, the clothing rack on fire, and so many people was trapped in this place, this club, that they could not get out. And they died. Okay, somebody the bodies were spread it out all on the floor, all, all outside, all on the second floor, all on the first floor. It was crazy. 87 people killed. Okay. They actually got the person who did that. I don't know his condition. I think they deported him back or he's serving time. I don't know what it is, but uh, they saying that, oh, I'm sorry, well, we, we see right here that he was ultimately convicted of murder and arson. He died in jail serving his sentence. March 8th, 2007, which is called the Woody Crest Avenue Fire. Ten people was killed, nine of them children at a fire a location 1022 Woody Crest Avenue in high bridge section. Okay? That's so crazy. 1022 Woody Crest Avenue. Isn't today's date 11022? 
Okay, that's strange. The fire was sparked by an overheated cord to a space heater in the basement bedroom. They saying that the woman who first noticed the fire tried to put it out by herself, not calling 911 for several minutes, and the building two smoke detectors also had no batteries. So again, ladies and gentlemen, it is important to check your batteries and your smoke alarm and also in your carbon monoxide together. Okay. December 28, 2017, Baltimore, uh, I'm sorry, Bel Belmar apartment fire. 13 people was killed in an apartment fire on 2363 Prosper Avenue. Officials say that the fast moving fire was started by a three-year-old boy playing with burners on the stove. The boy mother was alerted to the fire by the boy screaming. She escaped the apartment with her kids, but left the front door open. The victim ranged in age of from one to 63. Okay, so welcome again. This is Kareem in the morning. If you are just now, you know what? I have to find a tab for, um, I got to find one for uh, Sheeny Sunday. I got to find one for Kareem in the morning, and I got to find one for uh, Live at Nine in Jersey. View. Okay, so, but I'll just use this tab. All right, so we have some uh, more breaking news, but before I continue, breaking news, uh, we have new uh, information and this uh, breaking news coming into the office right now or, or to the desk of the Omega Student News talk show T. We have now just now discovered and known that Full House star Bob Saget has died. Uh, we don't know uh, right now, but we are now seeing that uh, they found him in a hotel room. So before... Uh, I continue with that story. I just want to go ahead and say that Kareem in the morning, welcome. Okay. Uh, I am the host, Kareem Clemens. This show is sponsored by Omega Studio News, Talk Show T, and TST TV, copyright January 2022. Okay. Nice. Bring that up. Nice, right? Okay. Social media news and breaking news. So, right now, at this time, we have just learned that Bob Saget has died. Okay, uh, we have no, we have, we have just found out that Saget was staying at the Ritz Carlton in Orlando, Florida. The comedian was on tour and performed a two-hour stand-up set the night before his death. I mean, I remember him from uh, America Funniest Videos, and I also remember him from Full House. You know, uh, he played the um, the dad. He played the dad, right? So, but I haven't really followed him, and I know he was still working. So here's the uh, the, the the news. So according to the report released by the Orange County Sheriff Office, Saget was discovered by a hotel security on Sunday afternoon after his family requested a wellness check. The comedian was found deceased, and and. In this, in the, he was in a different. He was in a different position in his bed. Oh, he was laying in the horizontal, with his face and torso facing up. So he was laying on his back. Okay, uh, I checked the immediately areas to for foul play, and it should be noticed none was found. The room itself was orderly with items owned by Mr. Zagger on the nightstand, television stand, closet, and bathroom. Okay, there was no sign of trauma. They're saying that um, he used this key 
to enter his hotel room at 2.17 a.m. on Sunday morning. Uh, and then, I guess, you know, he didn't get no answer from his family members. They contacted the hotel security to check on him. And they had several attempts made to open up the door after the check out and they said security into the room all the lights was off and the, and the man checked to see if he was breathing but he was cold to touch security called 911. he was declared dead at 4 18 p.m local time hotel manager informed saga's wife of his passing homicide was notified which is standard procedures or all death whether they're natural suicide or overdose or homicide or always looked at by the homicide unit police clarified that on monday okay so let's see the arcelor Arso, Arso, county medical examiner office will determine the cause of death all right so while we're on deaths uh we're just going to go ahead and jump over to betty white's death okay right here in the breaking news but we're going to say uh good morning good afternoon good evening and welcome to this uh show well it's not really good morning news from around the country and around the world all right so let's go ahead back to here all right so speaking of deaths we do know that my girl betty white died on december 31st 2021 at the age of 99 just at that time, 17 days shy of her 100th birthday. Now we are just seven days to her 100th birthday, but she's no longer with us anymore. But we now know that Betty White suffered a stroke just six days before she died. Now, uh, Betty White had to be in excellent condition to be surviving and living to be 99 years old. I don't care what anybody say. All right, you have to got to be in some type of order to be a, to live to that age. She was, and, and 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 you had to know because you seen her working. She was still working. She wasn't hooked up to no machines. She ain't had no cane. She she was walking and doing her thing. So obviously, something that she was doing provided longevity to the late Betty White. Okay. So Betty White cause of death has been revealed as uh okay, I'm not gonna um let me let me see if I could see Cibrovescalero. Okay. Uh C E R E B R O V A S C U L A R accident. Okay, commonly known as a stroke is a loss of blood flow to part of the brain which damaged the brain tissue. So they're saying that the late Betty White suffered a stroke six days before her passing. So, you know, we didn't really um, know that because social media didn't break any news on that. I didn't see any of that. And we are now knowing that she died peacefully in her sleep without pain. So they're saying that the report was mild. So we all know that she died peacefully on sleep on December 31st at her home, just weeks before her 100th birthday. So they was trying to dismiss the report that uh, it was not a COVID-19 booster uh, shot that killed her. But Betty White died. She was old. Okay, she was old. She was old. She was up there. And it was like, you know, the longevity that she talked about basically kicked in and she just wanted to work 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 and continue to fulfill her talent until the day she died and that's exactly what she did okay she did that and you gotta love it you gotta love her she left so much memories at the age and at the age she was she left because she could have just said you know what i can retire I don't have to work. I can use my money, my royalties, and just live and, you know, do what I need to do. But she decided to continue to work on, you know, she's the 
the only uh, the only woman, the oldest woman, or yeah, oldest woman to host the uh, SNL. You know, I love her and hot in Cleveland, and I definitely love the Golden Girls. Okay, and the Golden Palace is my favorite. Okay, but there's other movies. You know, the Proposal and all the other movies that she played in and acted in and the actress she was. She wanted to work. She wanted to work. And a lot of people are just going to miss her. And a lot of people could just use their memories and they can use everything that they know, have, collected. She was definitely, definitely an animals lover. Okay. She loved animals. And that's that. I actually have a photo with her and her dog, Panda. Okay. That I share with you guys. Y'all can go view it in my archives. She, she sent it to me. And, and that's that. All right, that's something that I can cherish. But yes, she literally held out until the end, literally the end, the last day. Okay, so we have now we know that she passed away, uh, had a stroke, and uh, let her memories live on forever. Okay, so now this, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say that um, I, I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and end this right here, but I'm going to be back on the, the Kareem Clemens YouTube gaming. I do have a couple of episodes that I want to uh, send out to TST TV, but currently we are uh, working, well, I'm working on uh, America Truck Simulator and also the political process playing as mayor and U.S. Senator, and I'm also trying to win the presidency. All right, so you guys can tune in on the blog page. For more information, you guys can visit the blog page. All right, this is Kareem in the morning. I'll see you guys very soon. Holla.